Three, and just in time for the holidays, gas prices are at the lowest level we've seen in four years. Great, isn't it? WOWT's Jordan Shafty joins us live to see how those prices might impact your holiday travel. Jordan, good morning. I love bringing you guys good news in the morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. On November 1st, the average price of unleaded gasoline fell below the $3 a gallon mark for the first time since December of 2010. And since November 1st, bad numbers have only continued to fall. I did check GasBuddy.com this morning. It's showing that Costco at 120th and Dodge has hit below that $2 mark at $1.99. This gas station we are at is at 209. Now, one week ago in the Omaha area, we were seeing gas prices at the $2.46 mark. A year ago, we were all the way up at $2.00 and 96 cents. So if you go to fill up a 15 gallon tank this holiday season compared to last year, you will be saving about $13 each time you go to fill up. That's the savings that drivers are happy to hear. Be a little extra spending money for, you know, for presents and stuff like that. Um, some extra good times with family. Uh, other than that, we, you know, we travel when we travel anyways, but yeah, it, it definitely will help out. It's very nice. We're glad. Yeah, my son's car is a little smaller. It only takes takes less than $20 to fill up his car now, so he's really happy about that. Well, I like it. It's easier on my wallet. Um, I'm not sure how long it's lasts or what the long-term consequences will be. The spokesperson for Quick Trip tells me it simply comes down to supply and demand. He tells me we have a huge stock of supply right now and demand has pretty much remained equal. But if you still aren't satisfied with the savings you're seeing, I have a few extra strategies for you. The first is when you're behind the wheel on long trips, go ahead and set your cruise control. Maintaining your distance will help you save gas. Also, don't let your car sit in idle. Take the keys out if you plan to be parked for more than a minute. Actually, restarting your car will take less gas than sitting there and leaving it idling for a minute. And finally, try to avoid those heavy loads. I know we'll be having a lot of presents for the holidays, but packing down your car can really use up your gas. Will these lower prices that we're seeing lead to more holiday travelers? I'll look into that coming up here in the next half hour. Reporting live for WOWT6 News, I'm Jordan Shafty.